Hi guys, welcome back. It's Nick here again, and we're continuing our transport game. Um, well, we left off, we'd just done the first part of our camera uh, script. And something I actually forgot to mention last time is I've actually upgraded our project. So if I go to um, help and then about Unity, you can see I've um, upgraded to Unity 5.1. Um, there's no key differences um, I've seen published. Uh, that should affect our game for now, but um, it's good to keep on top of the latest version. And as this is recorded, um, 5.1 has just been released. So um, just so you can follow along, I'll keep with that. Um, right, so where we're up to is with our camera like this. Let me just hide the scene view on this side. And get back to the game view. There we go. Okay, so we have, currently have controls to go forwards and backwards and left and right with our camera, which means we can start exploring this map, which is nice. We've got a sort of fly around view. Uh, but what we really want, as you can see, we've got a problem here, is we can't really raise or lower the camera and we can't rotate the camera. So um, we're going to handle that today. So I'm just going to jump back into Visual Studio where we left off. So this is our simple uh, couple of lines script so far. Uh, we're going to modify this a bit later to make it a bit more uh, user friendly. Uh, so first we want to think about uh, rotating the camera. So uh, for rotation, I'm actually going to have a uh, system of uh, when the right mouse button is clicked and the mouse is dragged, the camera will rotate based on how far the, the mouse is dragged. So um, what I'm going to do is we want to listen out for a specific button. So listen for right mouse button. So what I'm going to say is if input dot get get button and then um, sorry we want input dot get key and key code. mouse and then we want mouse one which should be the right mouse button we'll test that in a bit so if the, the, the mouse button is already clicked and um, we'll start to uh, rotate the the camera okay so what we want to store a few bits of information so i'm going to start off with a boolean value which is um is rotating sorry is rotating so we're going to start off at false and the first thing is um, if that is uh, false, so if I'm not is rotating, we'll set is rotating to true. Oop, messing around with the brackets here. There we go. Get some brackets for that if, if block. Okay, we also want to store a few other bits of information. And the first of which is going to be a uh, vector three. At least I think it's a vector three. Uh, we'll check that in a moment, and that's going to be the mouse start position. And this is so we can compare the current position to the start position and determine how far to rotate. So um, when we start clicking, we want to set the mouse start position equal to input dot uh, mouse position. Um, it is a vector three. As you can see in these hints, um, if you're ever not sure on what type something is, just look at the hints and it says uh, right here, oh, I've lost it now, it says uh, right here, vector three, input dot mouse position. So it tells you the type. So you want to store the mouse position. Okay. The uh, other thing we want to do is if we're no longer pushing the right mouse button, we want to um, stop rotating. So if we we basically just say is rotating equals false. Okay. Otherwise, if uh, if we're already rotating, what we want to do is uh, compare the start mouse position to the current mouse position and determine how far to rotate the camera. So um, we'll store the vector three current mouse position. And um, that will be equal to input dot mouse position. 
Actually, I just realized something. We also need to store the um, the current style rotation. So I think there'll also be a uh, vector three. Okay, and we want to get that. So let me just add that bit up here. So we want to set the start rotation equal to the transform dot rotation dot point angles. Okay. So now we want to compare the current mouse position to the um, the other mouse position. Update update the rotation based on that. We want to do transform dot rotation equals. And uh, if you remember from the I think the second tutorial. We uh, use the quaternion dot boiler function, and that takes in a vector three and returns um, a correct rotation value. So a new vector three. Now let's have a quick think about the uh, rotation that we want here. Which axes we're concerned with? So uh, if we look at the camera and switch on the rotation gizmo. So we see we want to concern ourselves with this y value and this x value like this. The z value we don't want because that sort of tilts the camera and that's not really the effect we're going for. Okay, so um, I'll set a zero for z and I'll leave these two blank to start with. So for the x value, what we want to do is have um, the start rotation dot x and we'll do start rotation dot y. So we start off where, where, when we started clicking, there's sort of like an offset. And then we want to add a bit on, and that will be the difference between the current mouse position and the start position. So that'll be current mouse position dot x minus start mouse, or mouse start position, sorry, dot x. And we'll do the same with the z value. Uh, sorry, the y value. I'm not quite sure what the z value does on a mouse position um, vector 3, because obviously the screen does not have three dimensions. Uh, if anyone knows about that in the comments, it would be interesting to know. Okay, I think we might be just about ready to test. This could go horribly, horribly wrong. Oftentimes, I find when you're working with rotations, things do go horribly, horribly wrong. But we don't have any compiler errors, so uh, let's give it a go. So uh, I'm not holding down the right mouse button and it's not rotating. Hold it down. Okay. So uh, this is working, but it is very, very sensitive at the moment. And I'm currently moving left to right and it's making a big difference uh, vertically. So. Um, Let's have a, have a quick look back in that code. What I uh, think we should do is uh, times these by um, some arbitrary value. Or in fact, maybe uh, debug the, um, uh, the uh, difference values so we can see how much they are. So let's just do the x value for now and see uh, see what we've got here. Just so we can see what we're in for. Later on we'll want to add some sensitivity variables here. So you can see as I move the mouse to the x value further and further along, the um, value in the console there is decreasing. And as I move it back, the original start place It, um, as I move it back to the original start place, it actually resets back to zero, which is correct. But it is also affecting the Y value, which is unusual. Uh, so what, let's take a look at the... In fact, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to add this as like an, a nicer looking uh, debug. So I'm just going to add a comma here, and then I'm going to add the Y position.
Okay, so now this will um, look a bit better when we debug it. So we've got x, comma, y. No errors. Okay, so I click this zero, zero, that is correct. As I move the mouse to the x value, you see I am, um, the y value isn't changing. However, our y rotation is changing. I think I realize what the problem is here. Um, you see, we actually want it the other way around. Y value is across and x value is up and down. So I'm actually just going to delete this debug log because that was a really silly thing to do. Okay, um, I'm just going to copy this Y rotation here, uh, Control X to cut it, and um, paste it in front here. So now I'll swap the axes. So this should work a bit better. Just wait for it to compile and then click play, and we'll see if we've uh, helped it at all. Okay, so this does work. However, it is very uh, sensitive. And also the uh, Y value, the, um, sorry, the up down motion is actually inverted. Okay, so there is a, um, a way we can fix that and that's by adding sensitivity variables. And I'll actually add that for the other section as well. So what I'll add is a uh, float. Um, we'll call this X rotation. Sensitivity. I'm actually going to change the naming wrong. I'm going to make the X lowercase and these two. Oops, wrong S. There we go. These two uppercase. I'm going to set that to about 0 0.5 because it was too much in the last one. And this can be Y rotation sensitivity. And I'm going to copy these both. And I'm going to call these. Translation and translation. And I'll set these to one because they're okay. And later on, when we have a settings window, we're actually going to be able to change these. For now, actually, I'm going to make these public so we can change them in the inspector. Because it may be the case that um, we want um, different values for different axes. You see that in a minute. And actually, the first thing I'm going to do, so we see we've got these in the inspector, um, I'm actually going to set this Y value to negative because our Y rotation, the up-down value, was going in the wrong direction. So I'm going to start multiplying these up. So we want to multiply the difference by the sensitivity value. So I'm going to add an extra set of brackets. And multiply that by uh, Y, sorry, X rotation sensitivity. This is um, different to the actual um, rotation values, the y and x, but um, there's not, sure, not, not much we can do about that. Which I think this is incorrect. This should be um, start location dot y, and this should be start like, this should be um, the other way around. That was y, and that was x. Uh, that might help us out. Uh, so I'll just call this y and. Um, this should be um, multiplied by x, this other side. So that as we change those sensitivity values, it actually affects um, what's going on here. And just for the sake of completeness, I'm going to do this x and y sensitivity down here as well. So it's y, and uh, this here is x. So I just need to change the name of that. Okay, so um, let's go back into the game. See what this has done. So as I move it to the right, we see where we rotate a lot more. Though as I still go up and down, um, this is still the wrong way. And the reason for that is um, this is not negative because the um, inspector values were created after we change it in the script. Now. If Okay, so this X rotation sensitivity doesn't seem to be doing anything in the script. Let's have a quick look and make sure we've included the right ones. Oh yeah, because this is, um, these are both Y. <laughs> Set that back to X. It's always the simple mistakes that get you. 
and our sets. I think this one to minus 0 0.5. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so that's actually the wrong one to be negative, so they're both the wrong way around. So that's 0 0.5 and that's negative 0 0.5. Okay, now I'm going to save my scene quickly and then we'll try that one more time. No, I lost the values because um, I entered them in play mode, they um, didn't get saved. So hopefully that should give us a nice smooth rotation. So there we go, as I um, right click and drag with my mouse, um, I can move around the scene. Now in theory, this should play fine with our um, translation because we've already done the hard work of the maths. You see, as I move forward, no matter what rotation, I'm moving in the logical direction because we'd already done that um, maths from earlier. And that, that all plays very well. And um, the side to side, because that's a local axis, that also plays very nicely with the rotation system. So it actually pays to spend a bit more time thinking about the maths early on and getting it right so that it, it gives you less of a headache when you try to add more advanced features. Anyway, I think that's about it for now. Um, I'm just going to finish up with the camera very quickly next episode, and then after that we're going to move on to some more terrain features. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.